Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing? On this channel, we upload a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece once a week. This video is uncut. And in today's uncut video, I was going to show you a couple of snakes that I'm putting on Morph Market right now for auction at this moment. Also, let me know what you think about uh, my background here. I'm trying to be more professional, which is funny because that's, I feel like it's a constant juxtaposition on this channel of being more professional and just being uncut and off script and just wild. But yeah, I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know if I actually like it. I'm just trying to get some like different color stuff happening in the background just to make it look nice. And I mean, it's always trying to make it look nicer here with our big light here and we got, our little color balance card here and trying to get accurate colors so when we show you snakes like you know what you're seeing exactly what the snake looks like in real life and not some fabricated color that is just made up or even just inaccurate not even made up but just inaccurate so anyway it's fun i i enjoy it's my little version of psychosis just trying to balance between being totally natural and not contrived or edited and also being super professional and like really nice so on that note i think i forgot to properly expose this before i started the video oh well let's have a look here okay two animals both going to morph me the last two animals i have from last season and the last ones that i was planning to make available and i'm i'm curious to see what happens with this second animal that we're putting up because i've seen prices on it over the last year all over the board and everything from as high as like five thousand down to like 1200 for the same thing. So I, I'm just really curious to see what will happen on an auction with this. And she has been sitting there as an available for sale animal at what I thought was the lower median area between those two great numbers that I just told you. And uh, she's, she's still there. So we'll see what happens with this. And I'll, I'll report back after we find it out. But the first animal I'm gonna show you here is this little dude who's hiding underneath this little thing. This is a yellow bit. And I'm glad I checked it because I was about to say they're both female. I just checked him real quick. And he's definitely not female. But I don't know why I was thinking in my head he was. But I definitely checked him. He definitely has peens. And he's definitely a boy. And he is also definitely a spot nose clown who is possible het pied. And now there was yellow belly in the pairing. But I'm not seeing yellow belly. Now that said, I am not. I never would claim to be any. Sorry, buddy. I wouldn't claim to be an expert on yellow belly like my buddy Jerry Robertson, um, but I just, I don't see yellow belly in here because I think I've heard Jerry say that if there's white teardrops, then there's no yellow belly and that yellow belly doesn't throw white teardrops coming up the sides there, that little whiteness happening right in there. But anyway, I, I just wanted to let you know that it is in the pairing and he is going on Morph Market right now as I'm uploading this video. The auction is starting, it's a three-day auction, so you have basically till the weekend to put your bids up and a very nice looking snake and with him being possible hip hide you could potentially get some pretty cool things happening depending on what your plans are for for breeding or if he's just a, a nice pet you know spot nose spot nose clown is at a point right now i think where it is it could definitely be a nice pet for somebody and doesn't need to be for for breeding i, I mean any snake could be like that but Specifically talking about like price range like this isn't out of the question for somebody to Get an animal like this as a really nice pet without ever planning to to breed You know thinking about the fact that somebody could also get like a Multi thousand dollar animals a pet if that's their their budget and I know these budgets do exist out there I mean people buy you know bags and purses for thousands and thousands of dollars that serve the same purpose that a five dollar bag would So why wouldn't somebody do with, with that with a pet too, you know, I mean that definitely is a thing, definitely happens. We see it all the time. So let's have one more look at this dude. He's being very active and having a good time. Going to go over for my light remote. Maybe if I turn that re remote light down, it'll fix my exposure. No, I think the exposure's looking pretty good, actually. I think the colors should be well represented here. He should be looking fancy fresh, just as you would see him when he opens in front of your eyes. If you happen to be the winner of the auction coming up. Oh, and there, you know, there's a new feature on the auctions because every now and then, I've had this experience, you have somebody who bids on an auction on Morph Market that doesn't 
um, come through the payment, whatever the reason is, they just like back out even though they won, which seems crazy to me. But uh, as we know, the things that seem crazy to us, maybe uh, somebody else is just like, well, yeah, why not? Well, yeah, sure, I bid, I won, but I'm not going to make good on it because whatever. Um, but there's a new feature that you can now offer to the next highest bidder, and that's just a new feature that constantly trying to make things uh, more streamlined on Morph Market for everybody. We'll see how that, that goes in the future. And one more look at these beautiful sides on this wonderful snake. How about that? Oh, man. Spot Nose and Clown just go together like, I don't know, Dolce & Gabbana? <laughs> I was I was gonna say peas and carrots, and then I remember talking about the bags, and I don't even know if Dolce and Gabbana is a bag company. I just feel like if I when I'm thinking about something like that, that's that was a name that popped in my head that had two things, two different things with an and in the middle. What do you guys think about the hair? I, I'm considering growing it out, I'm not considering it. It's growing, and I'm considering just letting it happen. Though it is summertime coming up around here, and uh, chances are that I might just be over it real fast. Because last time I let my hair grow out, which was many, many years ago, I, I had to deal with it. I didn't have to. <laughs> I'm not going to tell the story. No, it's not. It's not a story for a time and now. What's what's here for now and this time is me showing you the next snake. That's what we're doing next. Right? Right. Why does it say I've been recording for 33 minutes? That can't be accurate. It's just not. No, that can't be right. Okay, next snake. Ah, uh, Savinia, whatever it is they said. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a female, just triple, quadruple, quintuple checked her, female clown pied. The snake that got me into breeding snakes in the first place, the old clown pied, produced by the daughter of the first clown pied that I ever got. So this is a offspring of Princess, who is offspring of the Queen. And there she is, looking oh so nice and fancy fresh. With this nice little pattern there. Some nice little, uh, I like to call them like Cindy Crawford spots coming in. Little beauty marks and whatnot. And a little bit of brown there where when I was triple, quadruple, quintuple, sextuple sexing her to make sure she was actually female, she exposed, exposed? She expunged, she excreted some some brown, very fun smelling liquid that you probably noticed me like smell my finger awkwardly at the very beginning of this video. Go back and watch it if you, if you missed that. But that was me smelling the little bit of musk that she... Uh, expunged <laughs> onto my onto myself so that's what that little brown mark is there and we'll wash that off after the video but there she is looking nice looking very nice symmetrical head stamp looking excellent looking nice and in focus or now out of focus but looking good looking good plenty of white on this animal and then we just got that little tail mark right there on the tail, little nice beauty. Oh, look at that. And that's such a good looking snake, dude. Such a good looking snake. So happy. So happy with her. Mm, was debating for a while, like whether I should even put her on auction or not and just keep her. But I do have an Enchi Clown Pied female that is from the same clutch that I am definitely keeping and is definitely not going anywhere and will stay here for the rest of her life. And so I thought that this female would be okay. To let go for that reason um but yeah there, there you have it two animals um if you guys are in the colorado area i hope that we will be seeing you this weekend at the all-american plant and reptile expo over there in the, the denver area like i said um really looking forward to doing that this weekend we have a video where i also have this kind of background that i'm working on so if you commented down below that you didn't like what I was doing with the colors in the background, and then you're like, why did he still do it this weekend, even though I said I hated it? That's why. I already recorded that video with these colors, so. Oh, I forgot there was a snake in this one. <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. I wish you guys could have seen that. Uh, go check out Morph Market. Go become a new owner of one of these snakes, if it so pleases you. I'm out. 
Y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you on the next video. Aloha.